Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and today let's talk about World Pangolin Day and save the pangolins. This is a pang, well, this is a model of a pangolin. It's a cute little scaly anteater looking thing, and unfortunately, it's facing extinction. A lot of people believe that the scales that cover their entire body are beneficial and have medicinal effects. However, science has proven that there is no such benefit to using the scales. Even though science has proven that, it doesn't mean that uh, people are leaving them alone. And unfortunately, uh, the, the trades for their scales are driving them to near extinction levels. So World Pangolin Day here in February is the day which we try to put forth effort to make sure around the world people know that save the pangolins is a thing. In the 3D printing community, we have someone who designed this model and then released it and everybody's been printing it. This was printed on my Upbox Plus using ABS and it came out exceptionally well. Look at that. It's a neat little model. You guys can see that pretty well. Does it stand? Let's see, let's see if this pangolin stands on its own. Sort of. <laughs> It is neat. The model is an interlocking design, print in place design, and the feet and legs you attach after the print is done. Uh, this, this is neat. Well, you know what? Okay, I've got five cool facts that I want to share for you about the pangolins. And while I'm telling you about that, I'm going to show you how I printed this and took it off my Lulzbot Taz 6 build plate. So let's do that. Thanks to One Stop Brunei Wildlife, I've got these five cool pangolin facts. Number one, there are eight species of pangolin living in Asia and Africa. Its nickname is the scaly anteater, and it's the only mammal to be completely covered in scales. It curls up into a nearly impenetrable ball when it's threatened. Its tongue is longer than its entire body and it's covered in a sticky saliva, which helps it eat tens of thousands of insects per day. Finally, baby pangolins travel by riding on their mother's back or tail. So you saw me taking this off of the Lulzbot build plate and you saw me using a chisel. So what I do, instead of jabbing at it with a chisel and risking my life uh, because of a sharp object being thrown my, my hand's way, I, act, I use it as like a lever or a lever and I, I put the end under and I try to get it up. And so here it is. When it first prints out, sometimes the joints are fused together. So what you can do is try to go through and work the different joints just to get them loose. The tolerance on this is pretty tight. So when you print it, uh, you, you may need to do this. The Lulzbot has a 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle on the hexagon hot end. And it's, I think this is built for a 0.4 nozzle. I don't know, it still works. This was a 0.4 right here, this guy. Uh, this is obviously on the Lulzbot 0.5. So when you print it, you free up the joints. There you go, you can kind of hear it. Work it through. There we go. Uh, underneath the nose is some built-in supports. And I think sometimes those get fused. Let's see if I can get those off. <laughs> or, there we go, okay. Sort of. This pangolin may need some dental work. All right, here's the, the feet. I did notice that if you look, the front feet, uh, they move. This one moves. Uh, this one is fused together. So that's uh, that's not going to work out too well for this pangolin bending its feet. But I think I'll be okay with that. There are two slots up front and two slots in the back. And you just attach the feet like so. And then the back ones go here and here. Then you have yourself a pangolin. Here we go. This is printed in the Polymaker Polylite Blue, True Blue PLA on the TAS 6, and it turned out okay. Uh, the, the feet did fuse, so that's, uh, that's a bummer. But uh, <laughs> these feet are small, and I could always try to print them again. So here you go, look at this. Here's two pangolins for World Pangolin Day. Uh, save the pangolins, obviously, hashtag save the pangolins, hashtag world pangolin day. I hope, 
uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that uh, I, I brought something to your attention you may not have known about. I hope that I hope that we can save these beautiful creatures, and I and I and I hope you have a wonderful World Pangolin Day. So uh, don't forget to hug each other more often. I love you guys as always. High five.